We have to go right here. Part two. Right just here. to show how big these trees was back here. Then, this is a root. Look, it really goes the trees. Nope. Hold on. Damn. Nope. All right. Nope. So, see? See? That's a root. See, but it's seven. Okay, seven. Yeah. You got the shovel. Uh -huh. All right. So, and another thing I want to show. All right. Look at this. Look at this soil. Right. So let me let me spread the tripod out. Seven, seven, seven. Stay over there too. Don't mess with that. That's rabbit boo boo. Okay. Look at the difference between the soils. This is straight Georgia clay. This is Georgia clay with rabbit boo boo. Okay. Now you see how how rich the soil look when it got that rabbit yeah. shit up in it. Yeah. Feel me? Yeah. So you mix them, and that's what it do. And you know it, it's rich in nutrients. Yeah. And that's what basically what I'm doing right now. So let me uh let me basically. Let me, Come on, let's go. Let's go show them the rabbits. Show the rabbits. Where the rabbits at? Come on, let's go. Come on, go. Run. Let's go get it. All right. Where the rabbits? All right. Got to. Got to the rabbits. Now this, this is my rabbits. Them, them the bunnies. This is the mama of the bunnies. Feel me? Bunny. That's a kid bunny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kid bunny one. So, basically, yeah, them, them, th these are uh, supposed <laughs> to be New Zealand. Now, old boy that uh, sold them to me, I don't know if they actually New Zealand or not. Uh, the most of New Zealand I seen was all white. These are larger, so they could be mixed breeds, but it's all good. But this is what I really wanted to show you. Now, this is hay. Hay mixed with rabbit pellets. If you dig up in there, you see the rabbit pellets. Now, What's good about that is that the hay, when you put the hay inside the soil, not only do it rich in the soil, it also helps the soil be drought resistant. Uh, it depends on what types of soil you have. I was actually studying the soil and, and knew the different names, but I can explain like it's the texture of soil. So basically, excuse me, basically with Georgia clay, Georgia clay is like uh, where well that clay soil is, is real fine and it sticks together. So what end up happening is that the water doesn't really seeps down and it and it and it rolls when it's clay mucky um sticky soil right then you got sandy soil to water just go directly through and it pass through the soil so with this being clay and when it get wet it get mucky and it sticks when with this hay in it what that's going to do is going to stop it from sticking it's going to break it up and it's going to turn it into soil 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 even with this stuff that I'm burning with this ash, this should be good. But the reason why I'm burning it all the way down is because of those right there, them pine cones. I don't want pine trees to grow. I actually got pine trees growing back here now. Let me show y'all what a pine tree look like. All right? This is a pine tree. It look harmless. It look like it's nothing. This is another pine tree right next to it. Let me show you what they grow up to be. Those are pine trees. That's what they grow up to be. This is what my whole backyard used to look like. This. When I came back here, I didn't see skyline. And it took some stacking to get them trees cut. I had 39, six in the front, some in the back. But uh, let me continue working because I'm losing sunlight. Cut. 